Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And in this demo, I'm going to show you how to make a mold for your key ring for them to fit in. Um, so we are going to start our new sketch on the top plane, which is the Y X plane right here. And we're going to create a box. This box, um, I'm just going to estimate uh, 20 by 30. Which, okay, I'm going to hit fit so it's viewed. All right. I don't know whether this is exactly the right size or not, um, but we'll go with that. So I'm going to finish my sketch, go to extrude, and I'm going to give it some depth. All right. And also, I'm going to make this a uh, actually we'll, we'll keep it as a body okay so i'm going to give it about three inches that looks good to me and what i'm going to do is i'm now going to call upon my fillet command hold on get that top view all right so this is the fillet here and it rounds corners uh you could use the shortcut f right here and I'm going to select that. I'm going to choose my side. And I'm going to round out this one side here. OK, it's fine. Hit enter to set it. I'm going to just keep calling on F again uh, instead of going to the command just because shortcuts make things easier. OK, so I'm going to try to give it the same amount. OK, looks good. And I'm just going to keep doing that to all four sides. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to save it. And saving it will allow me to work with other, um, to bring other files in. So let's see, key mold. So let's bring in our two inch key. All right, here we go. And I'm going to place this. Go disappeared on me. Let me just see if I can find it. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get it back. Okay. This three dimensional space can be kind of tricky. All right. So here it is. It's on top. I want to bring it down lower until it's sitting on it. Again, we have to look at it from different views to, and there we go. All right, I think this is gonna be looking good. Cool, all right. So we're gonna just hit enter, we're gonna set it there, and this is right on top of the surface. So how I'm gonna make a mold is through the extrude command. So I'm gonna go to extrude, <clears throat> okay. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the arrow down. I'm going to make it uh, point is going to be minus point five. And I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to move this to component. And this should have left a mold here. It actually did not. So let's try that again. Create. And let's try it at um, 0.75. So there's our mold right here. 
and that's pretty much just what we wanted. All right, so I'm gonna go and do this with the first key here. We don't want it to be lopsided like that. From different views. I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, and just um, re import that. All right, so it's already pretty close to the surface. It's right here. Gonna move that over. Let's look at it from a different point of view. Now I'm going to set it, go to the extrude, select this, go in, I'll go in the same amount, 0.75. And we have our molds right here. So the last step of this, we want our keys to be uh, floating above the mold part here, but uh, we're gonna add some appearance to it. So we're gonna go to modify appearance and we're gonna give each part of this um, a, a different color. So I'll make my key ring green, but uh, you see here while, where it says, bodies, components, or faces, okay? So when we wanna get into the individual, this is fine when we want a larger thing um, to be colored, but we wanna change it to faces. We want to work with just uh, individual parts. So I'm going to drop this here and we'll make that red. All right. And then for the key, I think I'm going to go with some sort of metal. So let me see here. See what I can find. Platinum, silver. Okay. So I'll go with copper. And. See if I'm able to actually add it to the key. No. It's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to um, undo that. Okay. And just see if we can do these keys here. Interesting, it only does faces and components. Wait, yeah, these are components. It should be doing this. Maybe it did. Yeah, there we go. All right, you just drag it on. Beautiful, okay. And we have our completed um, piece right here. I'm going to put it in the name view, uh, home views over here. I'm going to close the appearance window, go to name views, home, and voila. This is the finished product right here. Okay, that's it.